Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the Thar. Uh, probably one of my favorite cars. I love the way this car looks. Looks a lot like the. I'm not going to say it, but I love the look of this car. I'm going to be doing a ceramic coating on the entire car. This is a brand new car coming right from the showroom. I love this color, the Thar. It looks beautiful. And Thar has spared no expense of doing the branding pretty much everywhere. There's Thar. I think 13 times where Thar has been written. Right here as well. And I really like this badge. It says made in India and it gives you a serial number of the car that looks really classy but yeah overall i think the paint quality of mahindra has really improved over time which is something great to note uh the tires and the alloys look beautiful i like the whole gray stone finish on the entire tire and these white markings look really well on the tire i think i really like these tires are huge by these are 18 inch alloy wheels and the car overall needs to be completely cleared before we start so that's what we're going to be doing first when you've got some more badging here and you've got some more badging here and you've got some more badging here so thar has spent no expense in doing the branding of this car they've gone all out <laughs> you've got thar again here so you don't forget you're driving a mahindra thar beautiful interiors we're going to be polishing the entire interiors all this and we're going to be coating the logos and the piano black finishes also to protect it so let's get started happen to notice how many times is thar written on this car that's like let's let's take them through it okay let's okay. actually show them because literally every, everywhere he goes on guy like Thar, Thar, it's written so many times. So we're going to show you how many times Thar is actually written on this car. So let's show you all. So we start with number one. <laughs> on the alloy. On the alloy. Two. Two. Okay. Four, yeah. <laughs> Three. Three. Oh, I'm sure it's the inside also, right? Yeah. Here, here. On the <laughs> side. Two yeah. mistress on the door also. One more. Oh. Anywhere inside? On the floor, man. Oh, Five. there also. Okay. Five. Oh, yeah. Oh, six. six. Yeah, okay. Three lights. Seven. We will get over here too. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Nine. My God. Ten. Oh. Where else? Where else? Eleven. <laughs> we will get it on the floor. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> wow. And? And the branding. Thirteen. Oh, we were wrong. Fourteen. Oh, there's one. Oh, yes. I forgot. Fifteen. 15 logos of the car. I can't believe it. Like, this is just branding overload. Like, we have to add a car. We have to add 15 logos so that people know it's a car. The great thing to note about the interiors of the new Mahindra car is that the entire interior, by the way, the whole thing is washable, including the roof. And pretty much everything in this cabin can be hosed down, which is a really good part. I don't think anyone's ever going to hose their car down unless you've taken out the top, you've taken out the doors and everything and gone off-roading. By the way, you can remove the doors of this car as well. So this can be hosed down, but I don't think we're going to be hosing it down today because it's a brand new car and it doesn't really require it. Unless someone really mucks up this car, you don't really need to hose the entire thing down. We're going to start uh, the decontamination process of the paint. So the first thing that we do is to clear the paint because even when the car comes in from the stockyard, the paint has a lot of contamination on it which needs to be cleared. So we use a clay towel and a clay loop to decontaminate the entire surface because if you don't do that and the contamination hasn't come off the paint, you can't really run your machine. So very important to finish off the cleaning process before you start to do anything with the car. You should not run a machine or do anything before you've cleared the entire paint. things that we're doing is the decontamination and polishing of the alloys we do them both simultaneously we already decontaminated before the wash so this is a decontaminator carbon spray that comes it removes carbon brake dust and all the other deposits on the alloy wheel as you can see it just sits on it and it makes everything bleed off the alloy we kind of loosen it with the brush again we do this twice because we're going to be ceramic coating the alloys as well so it needs to be properly decontaminated because if there's literally any contamination on the alloy the ceramic coat will just slip off and won't stick properly
So pretty much now what we're doing is the compounding process of the paint. So we apply a mixture of our fine grade compound with a little bit of sealant. We do that to get a better bond in the paint and get the shine in the process of polishing out the paint of all those fine scratches that come in even from the manufacturer. So we need to do this process at least twice or thrice till we get all the scratches out from the paint. Final stages of the car and we're gonna be waxing the entire engine bay with a sealant so that it masks everything, everything gets coated and gets a great shine. What we're doing is the we've sanitized the entire interior, cleaned it off with our all-purpose cleaner, and now we're gonna be protecting it and getting the shine with our wax sealant which we have we've already applied to the dash you can see the sign we're going to show you how it looks on the door as well so we put it on the applicator pad and we apply it on the door and you can see the difference that ladies and gentlemen the lustrous shine that you need on the black part so this basically protects it it also has uv protection so if you park your car out in the heat this will protect the plastic from getting faded and it adds that nice lustrous shine to the black as you can see the entire area looks completely waxed and the shine is immense, so the plastic really comes to life with this and this is important not only because of the shine, because it protects your plastic in the long term when you park it in the heat and is UV resistant as well. Now we are also applying it to the other parts of the interior. We apply it here to get the shine then we wipe it off again with the all purpose cleaner so it gives it a little shine but it doesn't leave any residue on the steering wheel because you are not supposed to put it here. So we put it here and then we rub it off with our entire solution so it gives a little shine but it takes off all the stickiness but we apply it everywhere else in the cabin as well. I really like this carbon finish by the way. You can apply it on pretty much any surface. You can apply it on chrome, the carbon fiber, the piano black as well. So the entire interior gets this nice lustre shine as you can see. The black is really shining now. You can see the difference this is the difference between when we apply it and this is before you can see a stark difference this looks completely faded and this is the shine that you get after we use the entire uv protecting wax inside there's a stark difference between the two and now the dash really looks like it's come to life because this gives black a really really deep shine it's not really a shiny finish but more like a matte finish so that really protects it protects and it gives more aesthetic appeal to the car it looks very very nice this is a deep black shine that we put. This is not the usual wax. But this is a deep black wax with protectant. And this protects your entire interior as well, along with giving that shine.